back to another episode of Weekend Vocabulary Series where we teach you five new words each week to enhance your vocabulary bank and you are asked to practice it right here in the comment section with us to retain them forever. The first on today's list is tranquil. Tranquil. Tranquil is something that is peaceful and calm, free from any disturbance. So if the word tranquil comes in the exam to express through lines or colors, you should exactly know what it means and use the colors and the lines accordingly that convey a calm and soothing emotion such as blues and greens. After listening to her videos, I always go to bed with a tranquil mind. Her voice brings tranquility in my heart. The opposite of tranquil could be noisy, chaotic and unpeaceful. The second on today's list is novice. Novice. Novice means a beginner or someone who is completely new at something. For example, I was a complete novice to the design field, but your detailed lectures made me a pro at it. The journey from a novice to becoming an expert at something takes a lot of patience, time and practice. Opposite of novice could be expert, professional, pro or a veteran. The third word for today is altruist. Altruist. Altruist is a person who cares about others without any selfish purpose. Someone who helps others despite not gaining anything from doing it but just for the well-being of others. John, being an altruist person, decided to spend two years of his life in Africa helping the poor and needy. Every successful person shall engage in altruistic activities and help the needy and homeless. The opposite of altruist could be mean and selfish. The fourth on today's list is plight. Plight often refers to a distressed situation or a circumstance or an unfortunate condition. For example, after losing their homes in a hurricane, poor children's plight was miserable. Most wealthy people are unaware of the plight of hungry and homeless. The opposite of plight could be fortunate and joyous. The fifth word for today is quell. Quell. Quell means to reduce or to suppress. Extra police were called to quell the disturbance. She often watched a lot of motivational videos to quell her anxiety. The opposite of quell would be to raise, to foster or stir. I hope you have enjoyed this session and you already have learned these words but trust me you are going to forget it if you are not going to start practicing right here right now in the comment section make a paragraph using all these five words and I am going to reply to all the comments I'm going to get also before you leave subscribe to the design ladder in case you want to receive more such content watch other videos on our channel for your nad and aft preparation and stay connected with us on facebook and instagram and you can also personally come and say hi to me on my personal instagram account that is palakakkar khanna link to all of these three accounts are given in the description box below see you in the next video Bye bye